It's dinner time and I want to show you how to make my black pepper ground beef and cabbage stir fry. Delicious flavors going down all in one skillet. We're going to start sauteing up some bell peppers and some onions with a delicious flavor. I've got a large skillet. We're going to place it over medium high heat. We're going to add one tablespoon of some sesame seed oil. This is toasted so it's got a nice toasty flavor to it so we're going to add that into our pot we want to start heating that up let me move my cabbage out of the way here and now i want to show you these are bell peppers and i have a red and i have a green and i got a nice onion right there also so what i'm going to do is just take my knife i'm going to cut off the end cut off the front and then I'm just going to slice it. Bell peppers take the longest to cook so we're going to put these in first and I'm going to go ahead and get that started. I'm going to pull out that seed pocket. I'm just going to cut this into strips, thin strips. And once we get these all cut up, we're going to add those to our oil in the pan. I can smell that toasted sesame oil right now. It smells good. Now, if you don't have sesame oil, you can use like regular cooking oil, olive oil, or even an avocado oil. Okay, let's go ahead and add these. Add a little bit more oil. All right, I'm going to go ahead and get my green bell pepper ready to go, also. Now, you can use any color bell peppers you want, it gives it a nice color in the dish, nice texture. So, if you don't like the flavor of green, you can put yellow, you can put the orange. Or if you want to do the sweet peppers, you can do those also. Okay, let's go ahead and add that to our peppers. Now we want to soften these down. We'll give these about a few minutes. I'm going to go ahead and start cutting up my onion and adding that. I've cut my onion in half. I took off the ends. I took off the outside layer of skin. And what I'm going to do is just slice these very thin. All right, let's go ahead and get these added. I'm going to flavor this with a little bit of salt and some pepper. Oh, doesn't that look nice in there? Now, if you need to add a little bit more oil, you can add some cooking oil. You want to make sure it doesn't get too dry in there and start burning. Okay, I've got some ground beef here, about one and a half pounds. I pulled it out of my freezer and just let it thaw out. It doesn't take very long when you, you know, put it in the freezer very thin like this. We're going to go ahead and add it to our peppers and onions. I'm going to brown up the ground beef until it's no longer pink and just get it all mixed in with the peppers and onions. While we're browning up the ground beef, we're going to go ahead and start slicing up our cabbage. Okay, I've taken off some of the outer layer leaves, and then I've just rinsed it off and dried it off. I'm just going to cut some sides off of it. All the way around, and then take the top of it off. And then what I want to do, just cut it very thin. Now make sure you're keeping your eye on your ground beef and keep stirring it and chopping it up. Now I cooked it like this using my wooden spoon instead of my meat chopper because 
I want big pieces of ground beef in there like that. Kind of mimics cut up steak. You can see the big pieces in there. All right, I'm going to keep the oil in the pan here. Since I used the sesame oil, and then I have also used avocado oil, so it gives it a good flavor. But there's not a lot of fat down in there, so I'm going to leave it. I'm going to add one cup of beef broth. Smelling good in there. We're going to add some ginger. One teaspoon. I love that flavor. You can adjust these flavors as you go. It's totally fine. I'm going to add a quarter cup of soy sauce. Mm. And one teaspoon of black pepper. That's what the dish is called. <laughs> we got to put it in there. Let's give this a mix. Oh, that's where all your flavors are, right here. Now what we're going to do is add all of our shredded cabbage. Add it a little bit at a time and just start stirring it in so it's all coated. Cannot wait for this one. Now I haven't added any salt into this yet because I want to get everything combined, mixed well, and then taste the sauce to see if we need to add any salt to this. We got soy sauce in here. We don't want to overpower it with salt. Now at this point, you can start making your rice. You're gonna have rice with this, which I'm gonna have. Let's get it all combined and into the liquid. Your heat should still be on a medium high. We want that cabbage to wilt down really good. Now depending on how thin you cut up your cabbage as to how fast it will cook. I'm going to place the lid on it, cook it down for about five minutes, and we'll come back. Just give it a stir every so often. To make my rice, I like to do it beef flavored for this dish, so I have a medium saucepan over high heat. I added two cups of beef broth, one cup of water, one tablespoon of butter, and some pepper. I'm going to bring this to a boil. Okay, we have a boil going on. We're going to add one and a half cups of uncooked long grain white rice. You want to turn your heat down to a low. We're going to place the lid on. We're going to cook this for 20 minutes. Oh, that looks so good. Let's give it a stir. Okay, now as you can see, there's some liquid still in the bottom here. Nice juice. What we want to do is thicken that up. So I have two tablespoons of cornstarch and about a quarter cup of water. And I just blended that together. We're going to add that. I'm just going to put it into the juice down here. So we want to thicken this up. Oh, it's thickening up. We're going to turn the heat off, and we're going to stir this up, make it nice and thick down there, just perfect. I'm going to plate this up as soon as the rice is done, and then I'm going to give it a try for you. Look at that. That looks delicious, full of flavor, one skillet, black pepper cabbage and ground beef skillet meal. Ooh, that looks good. Let me take a bite for you. Mm. I could eat this all day. It's so good. I love that black pepper in there. Mm. And that rice. Yeah, that's really delicious, you guys. I hope you make this one. You saw how easy it is to put together all in one skillet, except for the rice. <laughs> all right, give me a thumbs up on this one. Make sure that you hit that subscribe button down below and that bell notification. That way you'll always know when shows like this one here are posted. 
it's dinner time. I will see you on my next episode.